Hello, I'm Robert from Digital Storm. In this video, I'm going to be showing you our Dreadnought line of systems. Dreadnought features a bold design that was styled to maximize airflow and upgradability. If you're looking for a highly customizable system that will crush benchmarks without breaking a sweat, you'll definitely want to check out our Dreadnought line of systems. All of our Dreadnoughts come in a black Cooler Master half X chassis. This chassis features an impressive cooling array. We have a massive 230 millimeter fan up on the front. This provides a large amount of intake without creating a lot of noise. Moving over to the side panel, we have a large 200 millimeter intake fan. This assures that no matter what kind of video cards you're running, they're always going to have a constant stream of cold air. On the top of the system, we have room for up to two 200 millimeter fans. And if we move over to the back of the computer, we have a 140 millimeter exhaust fan. As you can see, with an impressive array of fans, this system will be able to cool even extreme hardware configurations without any issues or concerns. And with these fans being so large, it'll be able to do so while maintaining a low noise profile. If we go back to our side panel, aside from having our 200mm intake fan, we also have a large L-shaped window. Now if I want to remove this entire panel and gain access into the system, it's pretty easy to accomplish on this computer. I have two screws, one at the top and one at the bottom. I remove those and just pull on the panel and it gently comes away. With our side panel removed, you can see there's tons of room inside of this system. So as time goes on and you want to upgrade or expand on this, it's going to be a very easy system to add hardware to. If we move closer into the system, you can see we have these nice, large, rubber grommeted cable management holes. These are not only going to make your computer look more visually appealing, but they're also going to help keep those wires out of the way of any critical system airflow. While we're on the subject of airflow, there's another feature I'd like to show you. Next to our video card here, we have this plastic bracket. Now this houses an optional 120 millimeter fan. This is a good feature because it's going to take the cold air coming in from the front of the chassis and direct it right into the intake of your video card or video cards. This is going to keep them running as cool as possible. Dreadnought has room for up to seven hard drives. Five are accessible from the inside using easy to slide out hard drive mounting rails, while the other two are mounted externally in hot swap bays on the front of the chassis. Also on the front of the system, we have our power button and our reset button, as well as another button that toggles the LED in the front fan on or off. Below those, we have our headphone port, microphone port, two USB 2.0s, a firewire port, an eSATA port, and two USB 3.0 ports. As you can see, this is a very well-featured system. We have room for dual or triple video cards, large power supplies, huge air coolers, or custom liquid cooling setups. We also have room for an expansive library of either hard drives or optical drives. So there's plenty of room for whatever hardware you want to put in this system. And with the large fans, it's going to keep that hardware running nice and cool without creating a lot of noise. So right now, I actually have a monitor hooked up to this Dreadnought system sitting behind me. I'd like to take you over and show you just how capable these systems can be. Let me show you. I have Sirius SAM 3 loaded up on our Dreadnought system. Now inside of this computer, we have a GTX 680 2 gig card. Now that's a very impressive card, but I have some very impressive graphics settings set on this computer. We're running tri-monitor setup 5760 by 1080 with the settings set between high and ultra. So we're going to have a very immense level of detail, and I want to show you just how well this computer can handle that, even with a single GPU setup. As you can see, we didn't have any issues during gaming. Even across three monitors at this high resolution, we didn't have any concerns with frame rate or skipping. The game played butter smooth, just like it should be. So I've actually been running hardware monitor while we've been gaming. If I alt tab out, I'd like to show you the temperatures that we ran on this system. For our CPU, the highest recorded temperature we have is 54 degrees Celsius, 
and that's during this extended load scenario. That's as hot as I could get it. And on our GPU, the highest recorded temperature we had was 78C, but the average that I've been seeing while gaming has probably been closer to about 68 to 65C. So we could game on this all day long without any issues. And the nice thing with these Dreadnought systems is, if you want to upgrade this to a dual or triple video card setup, upgrade to the latest video cards, liquid cool it, really add an array of unique and different hardware, you're not going to have any issues doing that. It's going to have plenty of room for that expandability. So that pretty much wraps up my review of our Dreadnought line of systems. If there's anything I didn't cover, anything you'd like to know, or any questions you have, just go ahead and give us a call or shoot us an email, and we'll be happy to help.